show you how to how to build a hamburger. That's right. I know it's gonna be beautiful. I just know it. Oh. The Cooking with Jack Show. Without a doubt, the world's most successfully unsuccessful cooking show ever. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now, if you've never heard of the Cooking with Jack Show, well, then welcome to the channel, because you must be new around here, my friend. Jack Scalfani is a YouTube chef who has taken bad cooking to a level thought to be impossible by man. A show where eating raw meat and forgetting to season entire dishes is just another Tuesday. And it's funny that I happen to be recording this on a Tuesday because, well, today we're gonna see one of those Cooking with Jack signatures in the video Bison, Tacos, and Burgers, where old Jack is gonna have a bit of a major oopsie. But as is usual with Jack, this major oopsie would, you know, normally be seen by anybody else who spent more than four minutes in a kitchen. Not Jack, though. I'm not gonna spoil what's gonna happen, but if you've ever seen a single Cooking with Jack video, you probably have a pretty good idea. If you have any sort of a week, stomach, then I might recommend sitting this one out. It's gonna get pretty gross pretty quickly, okay? Don't say I didn't warn ya. Let's begin. Please subscribe. All right, so for the first half of the video or so, he's just making bison tacos, which don't really turn out too offensive. I mean, they seem like they'd be pretty bland. There's not a whole lot of seasoning and the toppings seem like they'd overwhelm everything that was actually in the meat. But other than that, they don't seem like they'd be horrible. At least they seem edible, which cannot really be said about the upcoming burger. You'll see. Okay, I got a whole pound of bison left, so we're gonna make a bison burger out of it. It's gonna be real simple. I'm not going to get all fancy on this, but I am going to add a little something extra. Pound of ground bison, garlic powder, a little bit of some dried chopped onions. There we go. Here we go. I'm going to crack an egg in there. All right, already encountered our first mistake. For any up-and-coming chefs out there, never put an egg in a burger. Egg on a burger, that's fine, that's okay. I don't mind a fried egg on a burger every now and then, but you really want to avoid binders when making burger patties. It never really works out well, and any decent meat that you buy is not going to need a binder to stay together. Top it off. Some of the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Just for a little kick, a little flavor. All right, a lot of flavor. What's hilarious is that this was like a sponsored video. Some bison farm sent Jack this meat, so he made this video. And he's basically sending a message to the company saying, your meat is so bad that I need to douse it in teriyaki sauce for me to enjoy it. I'm gonna guess that he never heard back from him. There we go. Now. You're thinking, ew, there's a lot of liquid in there. How am I gonna hold that all together? I'm gonna mix it, it's gonna fall apart when I fry it. Well, that's why you get the breadcrumbs out. Love breadcrumbs. What breadcrumbs do, they add a little substance, but they also hold everything together. Okay, here we go, ready? Nice. All right, once again, if you cannot make a burger patty without adding eggs and breadcrumbs to keep it together, either you bought meat that was like 16 cents, or you just don't know how to patty up a burger. Yeah, I know, some people use breadcrumbs in their burgers, but I hate it, I think it's gross. If you have somewhat good quality meat and you just know how to patty a burger, you don't need any of this. All it serves to do is take away from the actual flavor of the meat. Nice, see? See how it's kind of kind of sticky? Not wet, but sticky. Beautiful. Well, there's your patty right there. No, just kidding. All right, let's make some patties right now. Now remember, these patties cannot be, they can't be uh, well done, okay? Not with bison. All right, so this is like partially true. I think Jack might have been thinking of bison steaks, which if you cook well done, you are going to be eating an actual boot, which I think is not much different than a normal steak. But yeah, bison is notoriously dry. So you are supposed to cook bison for a shorter amount of time than you would cook regular beef. But as we're gonna see, Jack is going to take that um, a little bit too far. It's gotta be medium rare or rare. So if you don't like medium rare or rare burgers, don't do this. You know they're perfect consistency when they try to almost stick to your hand, but they don't. There's two. Beautiful. There's three. They're almost done. Look at them. Oh, they smell great. They're almost done. Still a little pink on the sides here. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. Never 
By the way, never, write this down, never press down your patties. That's such a bad thing to do. It squeezes all the juice out of them. Look at those bad boys. All right, I see Jack, even in his earlier days, still did not understand the concept of a smash burger. For a guy who claims to be a chef, you'd think he'd understand what searing is. But hey, this is the guy who 15 seconds ago just said that a burger is almost done as the outside is still pink. So why do I waste my breath? Okay, never do that. I'm going to show you how to... How to build a hamburger, that's right. No, he's not. Normally I don't, uh, I'll just show you the end product, but let's show you how I put it together. Grab yourself a, a bun. These are the Hawaiian, King's Hawaiian buns. They're so sweet. Little drop of teriyaki, because it is a teriyaki bison burger. Beautiful. Look at that. Grab yourself a piece of cheese so the heat starts melting it. Slice of tomato right on top. Now, I don't know if you have these. They always have them at Subway. They're called pepper rings or banana peppers, or pepperoncinis, or whatever you want to call it. I like this. It gives it a little extra kick. Put that right on there. Beautiful. And top it off once again. Little drop of teriyaki there. Now look, I know that the burger is a pretty open-ended concept, but I've gotta say I've never heard a person order a bison, teriyaki, banana, pepper, tomato burger. I mean, there are rules in place, Jack. That's my teriyaki. Mmm. Okay. We're gonna put this right on top. Look how beautiful that is. Uh oh. It's awfully big, isn't it? Wow. And center it on the plate. There you go. All right, here we go. Now I have to warn you once again, this is gonna be rare. So if you don't like rare, you might wanna leave the room now. There we go. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. All right, so at this point, most of you probably have a mental image of what you think this burger is going to look like. I just want to let you know before we go into it that you're wrong. It's so much worse than you could ever imagine. I know it's going to be beautiful. I just know it. Oh, nice and pink. The way I like it. I can hear the emails coming. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so funny to know that he probably did get people emailing him about this, and that he most certainly just wrote it off as people not liking rare meat. Jack, that is raw. Jack, that looks like you cut to the camera and put a blue rare steak in your burger. I mean, like, I don't get this. Steak rarity is something that people who don't even cook are familiar with. I mean, I feel like a lot of people can look at a steak and tell how somebody asked for it to be cooked. How can you look at this and think it's medium rare? Just for an example, this is what a bison burger should look like like how is this acceptable to a person who's been cooking for a job for years just take the bell off and put it on a bun but anyway there it is right there let's give it a try well there it is it's gorgeous okay before i try it i just want to say thanks to crown blue bison don't forget, when you cook bison, it's either rare or medium rare. You go to well done and forget it. You should also forget not even cooking it and just sticking it on the bun, which is what Jack seems to have done. I promise you that cooking ground meat of any kind well done instead of doing this is a much better choice. It's going to toughen up. All right, so let's give this baby a try. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jack, I'm really not in the mood for your antics. You just ate a raw burger and you didn't even notice anything wrong? How does that even happen? Well guys, all in all, this was a pretty good video to watch. Just, you know, for all the wrong reasons. This was like a crash course on how not to make a burger. Obviously the cooking, but also banana peppers and teriyaki sauce. That should be a federal crime. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.